So have you seen trailers of this already? No, not seen anything about it. So this is all brand new. This is all brand new. Oh, cool. There's a whole host of uh, like story-driven narrative horror games that I got when I shared the family account with one of my friends. So I get to play through all of them, but I've not touched any of them before. Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. It begins with an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just, we're in geographic flux. Right, so, lost. That's debatable. Safety tip one, quick time events. Take a moment to consider the following, as it will guide you through the various twists and turns that may appear during your stay at Hackett's Quarry. What you see uh, here are quick time events, or QTEs, which will help you to act at just the right time. Watch your step. Hackett's Quarry can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. The path you tread is yours to choose, but that doesn't mean there won't be obstacles along the way. <laughs> Nice, okay. Oh, heads up. Yeah, honey, nice catch. Thank you. Man, the roads are definitely getting worse out here. I guess it's all part of the rustic summer camp experience. Oh, right, that's where we're going. I lost track like 200 miles ago. 200 miles ago, huh? Yeah. You know what, Max, it's okay. It doesn't make you any less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye hot dogs, see you later apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't mm. want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so... Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Pick leaf, little pick map. Mm. Map. Ah, voila. What is that? Yeah, yeah. No, but seriously, how what happened to the, the normal map? This is the normal map. The one on the phone. No bars. Of course not. Okay, let's see. So we are... Well, I guess they don't put summer camps on maps. Have you seen any signs for it? Keep your bloody eyes on the road. Hey, eyes on the road. Oh. <laughs> Figure, did it not? There was definitely somebody in the back for one frame. Yep. Or one. Oh. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. Jesus Christ, what do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max, I wasn't a bear. What was it? It was a person. Oh, are you serious? Do you think we hit a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. Graphics on this game are awesome. Beautiful, yeah. What is it? I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh, 
I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. Take your eyes off the character for a few seconds. Go to the trunk cabinet. Yeah, I'm expecting something. Yeah, so am I. Oh, snooze. Shall we? in the mail lab to be fair. Thanks, hon. Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. There you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up Right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture yourself growing up in front of a big old space heater. Well, anywhere's better than here. Oh, where do you want to go now? Um, so she's free to explore? Or... No, she's, she's well, we just know, walking around. We know something that she doesn't. There's somebody watching. So... <laughs> Do we care about her? Do we care about these people? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Oh, that's a camera page right awesome. Yeah, I think she's going to be there no matter what. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where are you going? Just over here. Just stay there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. Separating yourself. Which one? Compliant or defiant? <sighs> Compliant. But that's never going to God, Max, me. hurry up! What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, that is. They could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman. Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far, okay? Be careful. Yeah, yeah. So she ends up being defiant anyway. Yeah, but she's, she's with him. Yeah, they're together. But the car is not going to be... Uh... When they get back. They're not getting back in the car, Stephen, okay. are they? Luck with the car. Oh, he's going back to the car. He is, and she's going down the quarry. She's going to investigate. What a good idea. You, you see, she wouldn't. I mean, what is she gonna do when she finds if she finds somebody there? They should have had that argument. What are you gonna do if you, if you find somebody? Ooh, Run, I guess. There's a poster. There's a poster for a traveling sideshow. Looks like it's been here a while. Let's put in the woods. So those bird marks around the edges. They got the atmosphere right, haven't they? Very much so. <laughs> I'm just coming to Ted Raimi to show his face. Yeah, we've got a lot of stars in this, haven't we?
control of this search. I am, yeah. In control of her walking and the torch. But you are just carrying on. Like moving further and further and further away. We'll, get, well, I mean, otherwise we'll, we'll just stand in the same spot and just turn the PC on. <laughs> did you just see her then? time events if I don't do them then it should end up oh no I press the wrong way is that gonna cost me hey 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 you okay whoa hey what's wrong what's wrong talk to me you alright Jesus Christ you're all banged up no no there is something out there like a Noises? Honey, honey, it's okay. Just take a few breaths. Just breathe. Just breathe. It's okay. It's the woods. There's a lot of stuff out there. No. It's easy to freak yourself out. Listen, Especially Max. if you're hurt. Can we just get out of here, please? Of course, yeah. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> they did get back to the car. Yeah, they did. Was that Al doing? Yes, there we go. Purring like a kitten. Max, come on! Here we go, here we go. We're getting out of here. The expectations are. Oh my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me! Max! I just. Okay, give me a minute. Give me a minute. We've got to go, Max! Laura, you're not helping right now. Can you just. I am trying to get us out of here. Alright, just... enough! Shit, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's okay. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jesus! Oh, fuck! There he is. Oh my god, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Are either of you injured? No. Uh, well, she bumped her head. Well, barely, barely bumped it. I mean, I, can, I can't even feel it. My bump, not my head. I'm fine. Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Oh, oh. They've actually done these character really well, haven't they? Oh, okay. What's he doing? Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? That means I've chosen. Yeah. Um. Stuff chose. Yeah. Okay. Hackett's quarry is full of twists and turns, unknown paths and unexplored wonders. With each step taken, you tread a path of your own, matched with its very own consequences. There will be moments throughout your stay that show you that the choices you've made, the path you've chosen, could have gone another way. At Hackett's quarry, there's no such thing as the wrong way. But be warned. Some paths are more dangerous than others. Okay. So our choices got led us to this bit. Okay. Basic or honest? Um, honest. She wants to be able to trust, I think, for now. We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and, you know, here we are. Something jumped out. Um, yeah, go, go, go on. I'm sorry. It was, it was so dark, and it happened so fast, and they were gone. I don't know. They. 
Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no, of course not. You know, I mean, I don't think so. I don't know. I don't know. Sir? Keep the car running. Sir? Oh. Is this kind of like the all-time scariest cop? I don't know. This is my first cop. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. Now you folks want to tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. Friendly. Friendly. We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out, you know? I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. There you go. <sighs> There's no reason to lie to him. The police officer. You're not going to make it to Hackett's quarry. Not tonight. Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can bunk up there for the night, okay? Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming and we called ahead. No, ma'am, you're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Compliance doesn't mean that she's gonna... Okay, fine, yeah. We'll head to the motel, understood. Uh, there's just one small problem. Uh... I forgot to spring for the middle of nowhere coverage plan on my phone. What he means is we're lost completely. Direction. All right, ma'am. Step out of the vehicle. Wait, what? Um. I just want to show you how to get to the motel on your map there. Okay? <sighs> for sure. Son, remain in the vehicle. That lighting is fantastic. Okay. This reminds me of In Fear. Have you seen that? Yeah. yeah. That was a good film. I think. That's all I can Okay. Yeah. So, we... are right about here. Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. Still, please. What are you doing? Hold still. Recoil, yes or no? Uh, recoil, yes. Excuse me. Oh. Ma'am. I can take care of myself. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. You can return to your vehicle now, ma'am. <sighs> yeah, I think she, there was a point when you think, okay. Mm. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Have a good night. He's a creepy cop. He's a great creepy cop. 
I, I always feel safe when he's in this. When he's in something. Even if he is being malevolent or dark. He's at home in horror, for sure. I never thought we'd end up having video games where the likeness is a thing for almost like completely spot on. Why is this guy just sitting there? He's waiting for you to move on. Just, just be relieved. No, a bit annoyed actually. That no. guy was oh, giving me right. major weirdo. The dude needed like at least a dozen showers. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? I Did you see was, that? Was it blood? Nice to meet you. <laughs> Never end well. All right, let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here, mm -hmm. and the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's quarry. Oh yeah. Do I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing. <laughs> very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want to listen to the advice of some creep-ass cop who told us in the middle of the creep-ass woods to go to some creep-ass hotel? No, that sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what I thought. Ma'am? Oh my god! If he called me ma'am one more time, I was gonna shove that badge up his dick hole. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a ma'am to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm-hmm. What? I 20s debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into ma'ams. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> I think we did that without getting killed. You think? Is there an alternative mm. where we could have? Yeah, there is. A, yeah, all of that could have played out way differently. Could have. You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This. This is the difference. Hello? I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean... Clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned... I'll get the car. Max, come on. Max, don't be a dick. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, we're gonna have a look around. Is it the uh, first of October tomorrow? Or is it thirty? Yep. Yes, it is. Is this a significance to you? This is because we will be beginning if we. If we get Horror movie month. Yeah. If we go past midnight, then we're in the zone. We're in the zone. I'm good for that. Where are we going to be in this game in an hour and a half? <laughs> Dead. Oh. Hmm. See, now that is excellent lighting, is it not? It is amazing. Are you controlling okay. that? Yeah, I have, yeah. Yeah, it's very good if you're, if you're in control of that. It's incredible. Um, it's even going through. If you have a look, have a look at the, uh, look at that, uh, at the other window there, when I yeah, move the actual yeah. light, look. That's excellent. It knows, seen that it knows its space. It knows its air. Yeah, yeah. yeah flashlights. Are Is anybody home? I mean, I get it. They they've got moonlight to to light it, and there is yep. a lot of light to make it visible. But there's a lot of that. But this is what this is how you do it for nighttime shooting, nighttime visuals. Doesn't be on that. It doesn't have to be pitch black. 
it's drama after all, you've got to be able to understand what you're looking at to a certain extent. Love doesn't kill you, makes you stronger. <laughs> Fun. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Lord, there's no one here. Come on. Just give me one more minute, okay? Of course. That's all it takes is one more minute, right? It's so tense. That's the thing. I can feel my hand, my my shoulders aching because I'm tense. Because I know something's coming. Something Max, get over here! What's going on? The bunker. There's somebody in the bunker. I think they might be stuck. Stuck? Oh, Is it Mr. Hackett? I, I don't know. Just bring some tools so we can break the lock. Hey, I'm back. We're gonna get you out of there. Hey. hey. That is incredible. Wait, what, what are these? I don't know. You just said tools. That's what? Well. Bring... <laughs> Look, there's someone in there. Her reasoning is, is really, really up there. Ah. Uh. I'm not seeing anyone. Oh, 100%. Look, it's looking, staffed right? reasoning. <sighs> I've been driving away in my car at this point. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay. Okay. So. Or do you? Take the hammer or take the wrench. Go on, take the hammer. Stick the hammer. Hammer time. You sure? It's going to be super loud. In uh, you go. So someone's trapped. <laughs> She's made brash points at the uh, brash decisions at this point anyway. Yeah, it's already there. Wow, that was super loud. <laughs> you need a hand? Yeah. See, what's that lighting behind them? Is that supposed to be their car? Mm. Yeah. You've seen the Evil Dead, right? <laughs> Hello? Yeah. Again. Are you hurt? Do you horror exist? Or a horror game. You don't. Hey, be careful. Oh, is he in a dog? What's that? I don't know. It just seems. We glint in that mirror then. What is I know. Uh, so, uh, I'm, I'm at wonder with the graphics of this game. Exactly. Really, you're, not you're not supposed to be. You're supposed to be scared, right? Not going, oh, look at how good the graphics are. Kind of have to forget to a certain extent. Bloody collar. Bloody collar. Put that in your inventory and smoke it. Bloody collar looks too big to be a dog. I'm a dog. We call Ian anyway. Okay. No, yeah, but she's left Max behind, so. Mm. Mm -hmm. Max? He's not responding to her. No. He would have checked. He, 
you would have checked in with her by now. Is that is that a human? That's what we want to know. It looks like it's a big rib cage. It could be a dog. I don't know. Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was there was someone here, I swear. Hey. It's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back here first thing in the morning, we can check everything out, but I mean you must be exhausted. I know I am. I think our imagination <laughs> Oh my god. Max? <laughs> Max! How good was your sound then? You Max! I have got headphones on, yeah. Guess yeah, what? Help. Do that. <laughs> Did you just get any crap out of you as well? No, it, it, it didn't actually. It just made me think that it was actually. I think I'm leaving a lot. Nice. Help Max or leave Max? Um, help Max. Okay. <laughs> 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 You haven't been bitten on the legs, mate. Does this look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you? It's a psycho. <laughs> or is he? Maybe he's just... He knows what's going on in the tent. Okay, so did we, um... Fly me to the moon and let me play on the stars. That, if it says the quarry, I'm going to be very impressed that that was just a prologue. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. Well, what happens in the, in the beginning of uh, the whole play? Somebody has to. Yeah, Yeah, we go. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Very impressed. You're just joining us, we are in watching, no, playing and watching um, the, the quarry. And in so far, world, it has I not disappointed. Got a lot of favorites in this in this um, in this game. Lance Henriksen is apparently in it. Winky voices as tutorials. Hello, my friend. Good Welcome night. to the show. We are friends, aren't we? I've waited for you. I've waited. Yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. Okay. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying. But if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. You didn't find anything, and so I've nothing to show you. You need to look harder. The cards are out there. 
If you don't help me, how can I help you? We're supposed to be friends. You said so yourself. Search harder. Only you can find them. There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Thank you. Um, Creepy lady with a crow on a chair. I'll just take a stroppy coin out there, please, ma'am. And um, just a spray. Thank you. Can I have the skull of a medicine man, please? Thank you. What then? We'll be playing other different characters now, guaranteed. Mm. Bye! Ladies, peace and love. See you later, kids! Yeah, Hackett's Quarry forever! You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. Cynical or reflective? He's gonna be cynical. Yeah, he looks like a douche, doesn't he? Yeah, well, I mean, they're just kids. You know, they'll get over it. Uh-huh. Like they'll get over Emma? What? N that's not the same thing. <laughs> oh, so that's not why you're in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad... Oh, my. <laughs> you know what? We had our last night together, and we're cool. Oh, yeah, so cool that you're never going to see your special little boo-boo bear ever again. Jesus Christ, you heard that? Oh, come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of band-aids and rat turds. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. <laughs> okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. We're playing Douchey McDouchey. Okay. Does, does that mean, does that necessarily mean that he is going to be with us till the end? I don't know. This guy. According to reports from the local paper, oh, this guy. <clears throat> was in Dungeons and Dragons. Hey, what do you uh what do you listen to? Before they knew it, the place was up in smoke. Good to know. Let me get this to girls bags for her. Christ. Hey, hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. It's broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's. it's I gotta get the last bags in there. Come wrong on. With this thing, it's just. Dylan, frozen. please. Sorry, bro. Cool. Thanks, guys. And climb in the window. Yeah. You know, he's, he sounds like he's an impatient guy, so if we're role-playing as him, he probably wouldn't make the same decisions that we made with Emma and Alex. That's because we had no context. The context of what they're like.
it's just a black so mm -hmm. we use on okay. Oh, look at that. Mm. Man. Who'd want to leave a place like this? It's like a goddamn Bob Ross. Mm. There you go. Okay. Hang on, has it? The kids have just left, so they've just had camp, right? Yeah. So they're all the camp guys. So <coughs> I, well, oh, I skill. <sighs> why do it? What's that? I don't know. Why is it? Why are they now investigating around? Do they even know this place already? Ugh. They're not. They, they're horror. packing up to leave. Oh, they're just packing I up. hate horror. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ouija board. Yeah. I cannot click on that yet. Let's see. Mm -hmm. So this is a great location. For a horror movie, yeah. Camp Crystal Lake should look like, right? I agree. It's very heavily based on it, though, isn't it? Oh, there's somebody there. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and two, it was really funny. Oh, a yeah, right. Is that is that right? <laughs> yeah. Write the rules, man. You know about okay, you? whatever. Look, are you can help me with the bags or what? Nah, I gotta stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone, sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring! Is that you, Dylan? I can only deal with one shit at a time, Jacob. <laughs> oh, what else? What other rooms are in here? I've got a general store over the word, didn't I? But... Is there a run button? Is there a run There's not. Button? Not right now. I guess we just try all doors, and I love that, uh, that central fireplace. That stove, that probably, yeah. yeah. That is a stunning to the max. Wow. There's our bags. Have we found our bags? No. You're trying all doors? No doors actually open. No, no, it's not giving me the A prompt. It's not giving me the A prompt. A prompt, a. no. Oh, that's what you meant by the cards. Okay. Cards are everywhere. Temperance. What is it? Oh, so that's significant. Yeah. Man, that's a bad place to get stuck. Oh, foreshadowing. Very much so. So I take it these kids are not building here. Yeah, we'll, we'll, they're, they're waiting for things. Is that girl's bag? So we've got some. Yeah. <clears throat> 
but no, I doubt they're going to be leaving it. Could you imagine if they just left in the car and credits rolled? Like, <laughs> yeah. oh. do you know what we ought to do? We ought to make a horror, a short horror film of, of people making the right decisions. Mm. <laughs> All right, got the bags. Okay, I'm, Great. I'm All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're going to have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Um, defensive. Okay, I'm going to need you to back all the way out of my business, Caitlin. <laughs> well, excuse me for trying to help. How is making me feel shitty about being dumped supposed to help? Aha, uh -huh, the plot Emma thickens. The she took out the trash. What? No. I Mm, wait, it, it, Emma's the girl that we just saw she that the house. walked past Then she took out the earlier. trash. Then she yeah. washed her hands. Bye-bye, Jake. Now she's a trash of single, clean hands, ready to mingle. Are you, are you finished? <laughs> oh, I could go all day. He's gonna play... ...amused. Oh, should we test that theory? But I gotta save some for the ride home. Oh, no, I'm, I'm sure you'll find some way to fill the awkward silence. Uh, yep, gonna be a super fun, not at all awkward ride. Thanks for that, bud. Okay, well, at least I went for it this summer. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Uh, Ryan? Uh, what about him? He's a guy at this camp, who just happens to have this whole hot, sexy loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all. Oh, and the plot thickens. <sighs> so she really just dumped you just like that? <sighs> well, technically no, but you know, she realized that she has her plans, and um, I have my plans, and it wasn't gonna work after today, you know? And today's already over, isn't it? And you didn't wanna try like long distance or whatever? Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that cute little finger of hers. <laughs> the, uh, no, brave. He's a douche. He's gonna. He's not gonna be defeated. No, oh, but I mean, seriously, come on. She's right. It's just like a b stupid summer fling. What else did I think was gonna happen? Uh, let's see. Uh, love, stability, engagement, marriage, house, kid, affair kid, divorce, loneliness, child support, visitation lawsuit, mm. surprise reconciliation, emptiness, retirement, grandkid, 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 uh, nursing home, and finally, dying in each other's arms and then being buried in each other's arms like those thousand-year-old skeletons they dug up in Rome or something. That kind in the ballpark? Oh, shit, I'm sorry. That was Ryan and me. Uh, let me see. Ah, here it is. Yours just says... Roadhead. Oh, actually, that's just a generic all men list. Oh, well, that seems legit. <laughs> okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? <laughs> we'll take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Well, I haven't killed you yet, and you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up. <clears throat> Uh, okay, so, um, total hypothetical, but if I was, like, a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line or, I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. <sighs> oh, he's such a dick. Oh, the fuel line would actually be... Worse than stealing it. Stealing the same replaceable, yeah. Can we steal it? Which one? You know what? How much Your feeling. He is quite an arsehole. He's going to break the fuel line. Do it. 
Oh, this looks important. Ah, shit. I will hook you right back up tomorrow, okay? Thank you, promise. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, Nick! Boom. Oh. oh. There it is. Oh, Ooh. man. Good sight. I hope he gets killed first. Oh. Oh. Ooh, I wish I had some singles. Oh, freaks. <clears throat> I'm surrounded by freaks. <clears throat> oh, thank God. I'm gonna get the whole no technology thing, but take me back, world. You would have thought Mr. H could have, like, charged up our phones, like, a little bit. Nothing's ever your fault, is it? <laughs> you know, you should really just save it for emergencies only. <laughs> Unless, of course, is being dumped an emergency? <laughs> oh, Ben. Friendly because he's got he knows something's going uh, on. Okay, well at least I had a relationship this summer. Ooh, damn! Yeah. Now we burn. Yeah, well maybe not everyone is looking for a hookup. Okay, 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 let's all put our little dicks away and get this show on the road, huh? Where's everybody else? Why? Why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't. I don't even know how to respond to that. You say Nick. You're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah. Keep dreaming, Junior. <laughs> okay, pretty straightforward. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five up top. Oh, you gotta, you gotta hit. <laughs> oh boy, you're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Really Doors locked, back. bags inside. It was. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. And by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. These bags will break in now. These girls won't ever want to leave their bags behind, so go break in. Yeah, they want their bags. It's their stuff. Okay, let's do it. Do we better not get in trouble. I won't tell if you won't tell. Mr. Hackett's gonna find out. So what? I'll just think it was a bear or something. Have you ever seen a bear in these woods? No, but that doesn't mean they're not out there. Fair point. All right, let's do this. On three. One, two, three! Ugh. Mm. All about the power of positive thinking. Why do I ever listen to you? Because I'm always right. Are you sure they're gonna think it was a bear? Oh, my God, relax. It's not like we killed someone. All right, well, I'm just gonna take another look around, make sure we didn't miss anything. Go nuts. Why would this place be in the news? Big show of Who's been missing to be another card in somewhere? That's what I'm thinking. Mm. Can't believe I'm actually gonna miss all those lumpy loose springs. I 
can't believe we've actually been here with all those kids for such a while now and nothing creepy has happened. That's why I guess it's Aww. so emotional. So this was little Izzy's. Keep it. Uh, keep it. It's gonna yeah, be. Yeah, she'll keep it. It's gonna be useful. The good days are being very useful at times. Let's get you back to Izzy. It'll be a distraction. I'm pretty sure that the girl who plays this character is from my family. Modern family, sorry. And these graphics are just hot, hot graphics. Very good. There is a there's a crow up there. That would suggest to me death. Card maybe. Crow. Because she had a crow on her chair, didn't she? Oh, she did. Yeah. So the crow we could be leaving the card, so we need to. Hey! Pay attention to that. You stop that! Ugh. Ugh. It's gonna be weird not waking up to Dylan's morning announcements. See anything at all? No. Oh, it's so something that looks like the, the steps. That no, there, it's just the steps again. <laughs> what are you gonna go for a bush with? What's that? It's control quiet coming out of the room. I was controlling the angle, yeah. It might have been an awkward angle, but I needed to have a look. <laughs> that was an interesting angle. It's ridiculous. Everything's going to be locked, isn't it? Yep, nope, can't get in there. He's just checking, I guess. He's just pretend, yeah. But nothing's really coming. It'll be at the bottom of the steps if it is. You don't need to kind of go off at every angle. Yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll see the prompt to be able to open the door before we get up there anyway. Yeah. Darker ones, of course. Ah, it's just white that white step. Yeah, this is such a Friday the thirteenth set for sure. Yeah. It's a lot cheaper to build. That's where we've got to go, but we don't want to go there. Yeah. <laughs> That's a great soundtrack, by the way. <laughs> we ripped it off for oh, our, um, our Friday the 13th College Massacre. Mm. I don't think there's going to be anything, is there? And then I'm going to surprise myself. 
you know, there will be something. I'm gonna have to show Friday the Thirteenth College Massacre in, in, as a as a short before uh, a feature sometime, so you can actually see how bad it is. Oh, oh Dylan is not gonna be happy that the kids just left this year. <laughs> I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. Is that taken? No, apparently not. She's not gonna take it. But somebody's going to no. take it again. There will be you in the future. Do you want to play a game? It's very rare that I get games of this quality, by the way. I think you stumbled upon something quite lucky. Ouch. Let's hope Jacob hasn't seen this. Oh, <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. What is that? Is it Dylan's? Ugh. I just got an achievement that says collected the first piece of evidence. Ah. Empty vial. It's empty, but it has something. F12 is a screenshot keeper steam, and that was too beautiful a screenshot. Once that little god rays. The called god rays. I mean, even this shot, you know, it's every angle is impressive. Yeah. Well, she is out of focus when you're looking at the background behind her. Yeah. Which is useful yeah. because then you are shifting focus quite well. It does have good shift focus. Ready to roll? I think we looked everywhere, didn't we? Yeah, she's enthusiastic. Let's do it! Finally! Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so... Dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean... In a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. You should try it sometime. You never know who you might impress. No, <laughs> it's too late now anyway. For what? You and Nick? You never know unless you put yourself out there. <gasps> oh, oh, wow! Oh. <laughs> nice steering, Tex. Jinkies. Ooh. Okay, so no, not hypothetically, rock. if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud, kind of like you and Jacob? He's actually really sweet. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When do you get his handle? Hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. You, you know the geeky girl and the guy that had his headphones email. on is going to end up being like What's the main email? protagonist of this game. You think? Really? Yeah, because they, they're, they're, the, they're the atypical heroes of a horror. Oh, hold up. Very much so. I mean... Oh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? No. Back to lodge. Back to lodge. Scenic route. I don't know. What do you want to do? I don't know. What 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 would the scenic route be? I don't know. Back to lodge is just. I don't know. What do you feel? You feel back to lodge, don't you? I do feel back to lodge. Yeah. Okay. Let's do it. <laughs> the hesitation. We should really get back. Boo! Thumbs down. Everyone's waiting for us. Nick isn't gonna leave without saying goodbye. Shit, Abby! Oh no, that is a squirrel. Oh. That, that is a squirrel. Too close. Sorry, 
Sorry, squirrel dude. My girl here is on her way to ask a guy out for the first time, like, ever. Emma! <laughs> Couldn't let her squirrel out of it. I am going to throw you out of the cart. I deserve that. <laughs> I wonder. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like patchy as balls. <sighs> Your balls are patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> What's that? The guy with the red t-shirt, red and white t-shirt. Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Let's go. Just gotta get these bags up onto the... Oh, hey, hey, here. Let me, um, let me get it for you. I can take uh, care of my own bag, thank you. Well, are you sure? Because, I mean, it's really not that big she of a deal. She can take care of her own bag, thank you. We can both take care of our own bag, thank you. Cool. Uh, uh, Abby, do you need? Yeah. Can I? Thank you. Yeah, she's definitely got the uh, protagonist uh, A hundred percent, yeah. She'll be, she'll be hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. Oh, good. Frame by frame. podcast. Nice, that's cool. What's that? What's it about? Up for frame by frame now. Yeah. Oh, um, hmm. Protective. Let's be a little bit boost. Yeah. I think it's called How to Mind Your Own Business. You should listen to it. <laughs> Ghosts. Ghosts. Yeah, well, all sorts of cryptozoology, really. The, the episode I was listening to was actually about this place. Oh, yeah, yeah. The one that you were talking about to the uh, kids at the campfire. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Yes. What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, I don't they think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's <laughs> Quarry. Uh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um... Never mentioned it? There's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are like reports of whispers or whatever, and, and this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son. Or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways. Haga Haggett's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. Cool story, bro. Oh, I don't know. Defensive? I don't know. He seems to like the black guy, doesn't he? Okay, maybe he goes, yeah, supportive. Supportive, yeah. This is mind your own Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for life you gotta be careful with this stuff man this shit's true come on dude bullshit what's the hold up hacketeers yeah, yeah, yeah I'm nearly done mr h we're up to it there he is get those butts in gear hey sorry mr h yeah deliberate some luggage shut up 
Maybe if somebody didn't spend so much time trying to press the ladies' ball as ghost stories. You asked. Ghost stories? The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh! <sighs> hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Well, yes, I do. But you know, <sighs> I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. I'm annoyed. He's not going to. He's always being respectful of him every he time is, he's talked about yeah, on stage, isn't he? Yeah, sorry. I understand. Cool, cool. Yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. I'm gonna blow dry. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh oh, I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's um, it's just you know about the whole thing with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello. Yeah. Oh, I think eavesdrop. So do I. What? Because kids are kids. It'll only be so much of a... They're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Probably staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Scooby Doo talk. Yeah, of course. Adios. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like I mean, I heard. I. Uh, I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just. Come on in. Sorry I pushed you out like that. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no, end of summer, busy, busy, you know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, whether or not I should, like, leave my sister with my grandparents since i'd have to live on campus you know and my mom's not exactly around so i wouldn't want to leave sarah on her own you know fam our family's small enough as it is well family is important ryan dang it okay is what do you think of it is he about himself or is he about? He doesn't realize. He's a, he, 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 he overheard what was being said, so he probably wants a little more. Concerned, yeah. Yeah. Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight. Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> so, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents, letter after letter, of these terrified kids that they send home? Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories. 
He seems apologetic. Yeah, I'd say he'd be apologetic. Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a big deal. Gotta understand the repercussions of your actions, Buster. It's a big part of being a counselor, a leader. Yeah. Just stick to kumbaya next time, okay? What's that? You guys don't do kumbaya anymore? Good grief. I'm outgrowing my own cliches. Seriously, Chris, what's going oh. on? I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Yeah. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. Okay. Just give me a minute. Where in the good goddamn are they? Please say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me. They sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrapyard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she wants to do. She's got her whole life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. Right where I left uh -huh. them. Let's skedaddle. That was a bit of an awkward walk. Yeah. Maybe he shit himself. <laughs> Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You should have turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. I try not to dwell on the past, man. Good. Because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it. Let's go. What's the problem? Ugh. Dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine, Mr. H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude. It's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, dude, I'm telling you, all right? It's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. The fuck, dude? Enough. Enough, both of you. Shit. Come on. All right, Come dude, on. Chill. Chill, Let's go. dude. Ah, God. <sighs> Holy sh Everybody back. Now, now, now. <clears throat> Jacob, wait. Jesus wait, Christ. wait, wait. I got this. What idiot. Ow, jeez, dude, I was trying to help. Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Damn it. But they leave now. You're right, you're right, yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Hey, Brian. Come here for a sec.
Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Okay. How big is this van? Hello? Vehicle? Handsome. What do you think? Uncertain. To be Wait, we have to stay inside until tomorrow? Why? Where are you going? Ryan, I need you to trust me. Like I'm trusting you. Can you do that? Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! Yeah, I need to remove the bag. So... What was that about? He, uh, said to stay mm. inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Are you kidding me? Am. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... No. Or we could do something else. He seems pretty sensible, doesn't he? Yeah, he is. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Who thing. cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man. Caitlin? I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um... Like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? <sighs> Support it. Mm, I don't know. Apprehensive. God. I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I... No, 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 dude, dude. It's all good. All right, we get it. You know, you uh, you don't want to disappoint Daddy. Yeah. Dismissive. Whatever, man. It's gonna be fine, man. Trust me. Gonna to, uh... It's gonna be chill. He ain't gonna bad stuff, is he? No. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers, party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First things first. Nick and Abby, you go get some firewood. Uh, Emma and I will go to the stores for some supplies. And uh, Dylan, you just—I don't know—figure out how to charge the phones or something. All right, let's do this. Yay. What the actual fuck? Huh. Is that a scope? Oh, yep. Nice.
don't know. Interesting. There we go. I was hoping you'd come back to me. Let's see what you found. She looks like Alan Bernstein from Requiem for a Dream. Temperance. Yeah. <laughs> to be balanced. To consume in moderation. Or to indulge in excess. Temperance. Take it or leave it. But remember, sometimes... With temperance comes deferred gratification. There's more I can show you, if you like. Uh, see more. Why? Why not? Uh... I was hoping you'd say that. You had a tarot reading. You better be going. It's still <laughs> early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. Right. Hey. This is uh this is where we saved the game because it's midnight. It is. Is it midnight? Well, it is. Say hi to Arthur, two ko two. Hey, thank you for being a first time chatter. Yeah. Gotta be honest, this game's awesome. We're going to continue with this one. The alert sound was there, but the actual vision was not there. So uh huh. Yeah, it is a pretty awesome game. That that was a really good setup and opening. Yeah. It's going to be a game we're going to finish. Definitely. Definitely. Oh. Uh, get that. Shout out for uh, our friend Arthur there.